Welcome into the DBU Women's Soccer Insider along with Marcus Wood, Patriot Head Coach, Kat Mullis and Adriana Schroeder. I'm Reagan Rackliff. Huge win for the Patriots on the road taking on 8th ranked UC Colorado Springs, a 3-1 victory. And Coach, for a team that really uh, implementing a new system, I guess you could say, when you arrived in December, uh, what were your thoughts going into this game and what were you looking to see and, and how pleased were you obviously with the win over a top 25 program? So first of all, the game uh, just gives us tremendous value because we, we learn so much. You, you accelerate your learning process. Uh, we saw a lot of areas where we got exposed in this game. It's just going to help us get a lot better, a lot quicker. And our young ladies are tough-minded uh, and can deal with some difficult feedback. Uh, but but there, there was some feedback in that game that's going to help us get better quicker. Uh, and and that, that's the great joy of playing the elite competition straight away. You know, Patriots find themselves down one nothing early on there in the first half. And you, Talk about uh, maybe some, some words that you had there at the halftime in terms of uh, getting the most out of your team. What were, what were the adjustments that you made there at the half that sparked three goals in the second half? So, so the first half, they just had too much time and space on the ball, and a team that good is going to do really well with time and space. So, so there were some tactical adjustments to make sure to take away some time and space and put them under more pressure, and uh, the young ladies just adjusted super well. And that, they, they did have a chance to, uh, to go up 2 nothing right, right at the start of the second half, but Adriana made a massive save. So, so, so the adjustment could have been the worst adjustment on planet Earth if she doesn't make that save, but then when she makes the save, we kind of turn it around and started getting on the front foot a little bit more. Your first goal comes from Sophia Schrock, four minutes into the second half so you, now you've got the equalizer take us through what did you see on that goal it all started really with Haley Roberson there from the corner kick so Robert Roberson serves an incredible in swinging left footer she's got a great left foot puts magical ball in there in a really difficult spot and so showed a lot of courage to go get it so so one of our great competitors and uh, you, you put a 50 50 ball in front of the net she's gonna find a way and she did you go up two to one on an own goal. I'm going to come back and ask you about that. But let's, let's bring in Adriana Schroeder right here. You're now playing with the lead. You're up two to one. How does that change for you? Does it change anything at all? Does it add more confidence to you knowing now that you've got a one goal lead? Yeah, it definitely like helps you just take a breath. Like, okay, we can relax a little bit. Um, you know, maybe not feel so um, rushed and you can play it back. And, um, and then I feel more confident, like, Yes, our team's getting there and I can like encourage more and um, just, yeah, encourage my team more. We'll come back now on this own goal uh, because that is a topic of debate. And uh, wait, Kat Mullis put herself in a, in a great position there. What did you see there on, on the own goal? It goes down. Uh, not as a goal for her, but she was in tremendous in, in a great spot. I hate how we score that. Like give give credit give credit to a person. Uh, Cat absolutely worked to get in scoring position. She won the ball off of him. She kicked the ball. It was going in the upper corner. It gets deflected. Goes in the other corner. Cat made the moment. If we score his own goal, and it will live in our locker room forever as a Cat Mullis goal, uh, to, as a game winning goal by Cat Mullis. Just really a great play uh, to get to give us a lead. Well, Adriana, I'm going to back to you here real quick. 17 shots that you faced. Uh, seven, eight of those were on frame. You make a career high seven saves in that game. Uh, what did you see in their offensive attack? How strong was it, and what were your keys to success? Um, yeah, I mean, those girls were fast. And uh, I can't remember. She was on their right side. I don't remember her number. But she was just really fast. And so it was really about just, like, getting set and being prepared for the shot at any moment because she just – dribbled in or she would take a shot from far away and so um, yeah it was just getting set and being ready. As a team collective we want less games where Adriana has to be saving us so much like Adriana was busy 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 on the night and she saved us she's one of the great heroes of this game and part of the story of this game but uh, as a team we got to get better defensively so she's not so busy every single game. Well you get a 2-1 lead and uh, of course Kat doesn't get the goal at least officially in the scorebook but she does get the third goal of the night 81st minute any seven rides going down the middle, you're flanked there to the right. How does that play develop and open up for you? I mean, it was a it was a great play. I mean, we I mean, the commentary when I watched the film back, they were like, "Oh, it's an offside play," but it, I guess it's not. We're still playing, and the look I had was just goal. And so I had that I had that wide option that the girl that was on me went inside to get Annie's ball, but then Annie found that that slide in. And I just placed myself like. The golden goal, it was, it was just something I would never think to have set up before, but it was just an amazing goal. Yeah, such an opportune goal, 3-1 victory over UC Colorado Springs. This is a team that you're very familiar with. You saw them last year, South Central Regional Championship. So Kat, uh, being a, a member of that squad last year, you played some significant minutes in that match. 
Uh, how big of a win is it? It's early, obviously, but to go on the road, kind of a new system here, uh, facing a top 10 team, how big is a victory for that? What does it do for your confidence? Oh, I mean, it, it boosts it. I mean, last year, I mean, I was I was a good sub on, but it was it was nothing like it was this year because obviously Colorado Springs we we lost like the, go the goals were opposite last year, and so this year we it was definitely a victory not only for Coach Woody but for this new set of team like that we have here, and the fact that we have some amazing players to not only start. But also sub on, it's just it gives it us a whole confidence boost, and our culture just gets stronger because of it. I know you. With nine new starters, <laughs> with nine new starters, it, they have to believe in themselves. That's a really good beginning point, and they know we played a great team. Like there was no question the opponent and the caliber of the opponent, and it just gives us a belief that that we can do this. I was gonna say you, you celebrate this one, obviously, but this is early. This is only one match, and now I know as a coach, you're thinking we gotta turn the page right here. You get. Two tough contests. You got Roger State coming up, Colorado School of Mines here this weekend. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on both of those opponents? The first thought is does maturity have to be age? Uh, because we have one senior, uh, most of our roster is 18, 19 years old. Uh, and what an immature team does is think they hung the moon and uh, now we get our teeth kicked in the next week <laughs> and, and we learn a hard lesson. But I, I've seen a maturity today. There's a humility, there's a ready to get back to work uh, because we have two 2 0 opponents coming to town. And mines again, one of the perennial powerhouses in the region. Uh, we have to reset our minds to the, to the work it took to, to do it again. You'll want to be here on Thursday night. It's a 7.30 kick, DBU and Rogers State. We want to pack Patriot soccer field. It'll also be a match that you can watch on the LSC Digital Network. And then on Saturday, it is DBU against Colorado School of Mines. So for Adriana Schroeder, for Kat Mullis, and head coach Marcus Wood, I'm Reagan Radcliffe.